the most exciting part about flying is the freedom of getting up there and, and the views. When you're in an aircraft, you're moving and the view is constantly changing, but it's just magnificent. I'm uh, Clark Klosky, a uh, member of the Abbotsford Flying Club and uh, owner of this uh, beautiful aircraft sitting behind me. And I've been flying for about 35 years uh, and I've been a member of the Abbotsford Flying Club for about 35 years. I'm just a general aviation pilot and I just enjoy flying just for the love of it. Well, it started off with me through my 20s and 30s, I started having a re reoccurring dream of uh, being at the controls of an aircraft with people behind me and uh, they all seemed to be just talking and enjoying themselves and I obviously was the, was the pilot because nobody else was up front where I was seated and I looked at all the instruments and the controls and I had no idea what they all meant. And I would wake up in a cold sweat from this dream and thinking that somebody's trying to tell me something and the dream would reoccur. I had the dream maybe a half a dozen times in that, in that period in my 20s and 30s until I started flying when I turned 40. Well, I actually learned to fly right here at this airport, Langley Airport, and uh, I hired a young instructor he, he emphasized that flying is, uh, is the type of activity that if you, if you make a mistake, you're gonna die. And uh, he was very clear on that point. And uh, I think the very first flight, he took me up and uh, he did a spin on the aircraft, which scared the crap out of me. I started in the fall of uh, 1985 and I soloed in March of 86 and I completed my license shortly after that. So in 86 I just turned 40 and it was part of my the plan when I turned 40 I was going to learn to fly. So I got it in that summer. I did do quite a few flights to uh, like Kamloops, Cache Creek, uh, into the Okanagan, um, uh, Kelowna, Penticton. That was pretty common. We would go on flyouts there. And uh, I was flying Juliet Victor Tango, which was father's aircraft, before he sold it. Not any really long cross-country flights until I got involved with the flying club. And then we did, uh, we flew to Reno, and we did a couple of trips to uh, Whitehorse. And uh, it, was, uh, it was just really good flying because a lot of guys uh, had a lot of experience with cross-country flights. I had flown this aircraft quite a few times. I, we flew this across Canada in 2012 uh, with Bob, the previous owner, and uh, down to Deep River, uh, Ontario, Southern Ontario. And it was about a 20 hour airtime flight down there. I bought this airplane uh, in uh, June, late June, early July of two, uh, 2020, right in the midst of uh, COVID-19. It was difficult to show friends the plane because you had to stay in your bubble. Um, the, uh, the flights were restricted to, your, to your, your region, your health region. So if you, couldn't, you couldn't file a flight plan out of the health region because that basically was breaking the, the rules. So uh, it was tough. And uh, so I basically had to fly either solo or with people in my bubble, you know. I think it, it's made me uh, wanting to, 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 to socialize more with people now that it's coming to an end. Like I feel I've missed a lot in this year and a half or two years. And uh, there's a lot of people that I've wanted to fly with and enjoy the, enjoy the airplane with that I haven't been able to do. So uh, now that that's coming to an end, hopefully we can start getting together with some of those people.